you know, my work is really about, uh, I would say, it's about conflict issues. So it's about how, uh, you know, this whole urbanization and consumption culture, which is the new avatar of development we have in this part of the world, and how that model, unfortunately, marginalizes, you know, uh, communities. Uh, communities, uh, you know, as diverse as minorities, as diverse as uh, tribal belts. You know, you're talking about people who don't fit into our, the normal whatever that world we look at. And I don't mean urbanization alone, you know, even small towns or villages for that matter. Mm -hmm. But uh, how people lose their way of life, how the impact happens as a consumer, how you buy things, what you use, and all that. But the, the, the effect is really actually being paid by somebody at really at the bottom end. My focus is about sustainability and capacity building through art. Mm -hmm. uh, how does an artist work at that level? Because art is very much, for good or bad, art is uh, consumed by a very, very small, uh, maybe 1% of the population, you know. Uh, but at the same time, uh, it's a big relief for people when you go see art. And art doesn't mean you have to go to a museum and a gallery. It can be television, it can be entertainment, it can be anything which engages your head beyond your daily whatever job you do. You know, when I was a kid, uh, as a teenager, I used to live in Bhopal. And uh, one of my uncles used to, well, one was a doctor, and another one used to work for Union Carbide. And they had this really fancy glass building which was a very big deal thing. Today there are a lot of glass towers, but you know, at that time it was very rare, especially in a place like Bhopal. So uh, I still remember going there, and it was this American corporate house running. They had a certain system and all that. Very new, very alien to us. Uh, but you know, the, the unfortunate part, I don't think many within the, uh, in this, this fancy office really knew that what was happening deep inside. I finally went back to Bhopal in 2004, which was 10 years back, for a BBC uh, campaign, a print campaign they were doing on Bhopal. Mm -hmm. And that's when I got into the plant. Obviously, it's a sealed plant, but we had permissions and all that stuff. And that kind of got me very engaged. And that Bhopal part really impacted a lot of other work I also do. You know, more and more research I did where I figured out that how do I want to express this? I'm not a photojournalist. I wasn't there when it happened. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a fan of disaster pornography because uh, it's, it's not something which I have, uh, you know, I don't have the skills and I don't really have much faith in that. And yeah, and as an artist, I think I was really looking at uh, people experience something rather than, you know, things thrown at your face. A 40-foot container, uh, which has traveled to India Art Fair, and then went to Kalakura Festival, and it was in Archi Nights, traveled in Europe. And in 2012, uh, London Olympics, when uh, Dow Chemical, as you know, was the sponsor, and they are the owners of Union Carbide. Mm -hmm. So uh, we brought the container there, and this was really putting it in front of their face that, you know, it's there. Of course, Dow Chemical would never acknowledge it. It's, it's a form of a, a train journey that night. And there were trains pulling in. People had no idea what was going on. A lot of them fell sick. One has no idea how many died. Uh, so I'm trying to recreate that experience. So you go in this dark tunnel of 40-foot container, and what you have is uh, 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 windows, which are like a train window. And what you're looking out there is actually the backlit images of the plant itself. So the storage, you know, where the control room was. So you know, the, so the whole idea is that you are almost walking by that uh, that entire plant. So, uh, so when you walk into that container, you actually start feeling, you know, you start seeing that the darkness is there. Then what you have is uh, Bhopal used to be much colder that time, unlike now. Uh, so it was single degree. So what we have is there's a temperature drop. So there's uh, so you feel that chill when you walk into the plant. You know, so when the same thing, I mean, when you walk into the container, there's a sound piece in there, which you can hear in terms of this building up of something in the machinery, like a regular, you know, a plant would have, a factory would have. And then it ends with one human life uh, struggling to breathe. You know? So that's how it ends. What I did was I got about 25 to 30 mannequins of all sizes, you know, 
child shape and man woman torsos you know all, all levels of it so we took that in this narrow dark tunnel we basically nailed those across on the opposite side so uh, you just had all these shapes of people and uh, then we took a 40 foot long fabric and we stretched that fabric and then we nailed that against these shapes so what you have is all these things trying to basically you know human form trying to escape and from Bhopal I got names of uh, people who died that night. And so on that black fabric, we put just hundreds of in white names of people on it. So the feeling gets even narrower, you know, as you go in there and as you walk through it. Uh, it is uh, what I would call it more, uh, you know, more experiential art. Why are you doing it in Italy? First of all, that's, you know, that's <laughs> why not in Bhopal? It's going to be 30 years. I know. I, I really wish I could have done it in Bhopal. Unfortunately, it's not a canvas I could just roll up and bring it in a suitcase. Moving a 40-foot container with all kinds of issues in there, it requires a serious amount of coordination and more than that, serious amount of funding. And also you need serious amount of space where you finally put it. So it's a combination of a lot of things and this is a totally self-funded project. So I don't have any uh, you know, support of whatever kind. What do you think will, will you will achieve in a place like Rome right. on the anniversary of 30 years of this kind of such a disaster. Right. What do you think you will achieve? Yeah, see, the way I look at Bhopal, I don't look at Bhopal as it's a metaphor. That's how I see it. When it goes to a place like Italy, uh, you know, we sit in a developing country and we look at Western Europe and Western parts of the world, America, and we say, you know, there are all these laws there and, you know, it's such a clean environment and all that. But the amount of disaster, as you may know, Venice, for example, you know, it's got so much of industrial pollution, generation of people suffering from cancer, you know, there are laws there, you name it, all kind of stuff. But the trouble is that a lot of uh, corporates manage to figure out how to get through all that in a place with such high standards or whatever those standards are in the West to monitor all this and the liability issues and you can be taken to the court and all that blah blah. And then you compare that to places like India where we unfortunately we are just starting off, you know. Uh, also in India we've had this big fear for, for quite some time that if you get very tough about with these laws, uh, the FDI will stop and you know people won't bring investment and all that. Those days are over. But uh, we don't have, unfortunately, the, the, we are not qualified, we don't have the laws you know, yet to actually monitor how these things are done. When I take something, let's say Bhopal in 2012, when we took it to London Olympics, it wasn't just talking to uh, Dow Chemicals that, look, you know, you need to be responsible. You don't just buy assets, you buy liabilities. You know, the lawyers buy that when they're reading that fine print. So, you know, don't get into this, find some loophole somewhere and, you know, don't take the responsibility. But what I'm trying to create is also, it's basically a platform. See, the good news about art is there are policy makers who do a lot of stuff, whether they manage to nail uh, Dow chemicals or not and all that, you know, that's a different battle anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, the way my work is, uh, and a lot of people who do what I do, is that art is a, is a soft platform. You know, I can get this very one-on-one -on -one with the audience. And that is really what my focus is. Uh, it's not about that I'm going to change policies. But yes, if there are, till date, we have had over 150,000 people walk through this box in the last five years. If people are going through it, children are going through it, they're talking about, they're thinking about it, that, you know, uh, why is my river polluted, or why there's, you know, this thing is not clean, or whatever that is. And that is the real idea behind it, because I think there are thousands of Bhopals happening everywhere. Part of the consciousness. Exactly. And there are thousands of Bhopals happening everywhere at every level.